Well, this week we have the return of the Tenrai event week five out of six, which brings you new cosmetics to earn for the Tenrai event, as well as some shop changes I think you guys will like a lot. And it seems like the challenges have gotten a bit of an update. So if you wanna know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again, giving you another Halo news and informational video. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this as it greatly helps out the video and channel get a better place within the all famous YouTube algorithm. But let's not waste any more time and let's just jump right into that information. And as I mentioned earlier guys, this is week five out of six when it comes to the Tenrai event. So we have one more week after this one and then no more Tenrai. So you still have your chances to unlock all your great stuff in here. Again, you'll have another set of 10 challenges to unlock all your good stuff for the story tier pass for you guys to get all your cool little unlocks for your Tenrai Yoroi armor set but it seems to be a little bit of a difference now when it comes to this week for especially when it comes to challenges so this week for the challenges so this week for challenges you have the ever filled Juzu weekly ultimate so if you complete all your challenges you'll be earning this which actually is well first of all way better than a typical emblem which you've been seeing a lot so if you guys really want to help customize your Yoroi armor set that's the way to go now when I was looking over these challenges I know the big thing that people are going to be kind of concerned about is like do I get to play something else and do I have to stop enemy killing sprees well it's all back in fiesta as you could expect when it comes to the Tenrai event but when I was looking over some of my Tenrai challenges obviously some of these may be different than yours that I don't have any like stop enemy killing sprees or anything that doesn't seem like out of my control. So like for my Fiesta challenges, like earn double kills, earn assists, that's just pretty much playing the game right there. Earn double kill, win a match, uh, we have complete matches, earn a double kill, kill 10 enemy Spartans within Fiesta. That's definitely something I can do, win matches, complete Fiesta matches and things like that. So I don't really see much in the way of stopping enemy killing sprees, which I know people will just love that challenge so much. So this is what I was talking about, saying that the challenges have been updated, that it seems like a lot of the more frustrating ones have been removed, at least from my like hopper of challenges. Obviously I can do a challenge up and see what comes up next, but I'm kind of liking the challenges I have right now for this week. So you know, I might go after this ever feel Juzu uh, attachment here for the chest piece because it looks kind of cool and I definitely need more customization for my Yoroi. So for the shop we see some changes happening here actually with the Sentinel Blades actually getting a sale down to 700 credits which is definitely the cooler of the two different kind of sword belt things you can have for your Spartan here for your Yoroi armor set. Again you get some emblems tied to that as well for 700 credits. This Silent Sentry set does look well Pretty freaking awesome. Comes with a great looking uh, customization for the coating right here, which looks great. You have the different kind of shoulder pieces, which I believe were in a previous week as well, if I remember correctly. Uh, I just never really bothered to pick them up, but the set as a whole, when you kind of put it all together, does look awesome. It does come with some emblems as well, but yeah, just basically it comes with, you know, some knee pads, a chest piece, and two shoulder pads for 1,000 credits. But all together, when you put the piece together, it does actually look kind of sick, not gonna lie. But I think I might pass on this one because I'm just not a huge fan of the uh, the Your White Armor set. Um, but you know, some people might just be as well. We also have the Heart Piercer one, which comes with the attachment for the different kind of knives on this piece. You get a visor as well as a stance with the sword, which I mean, for 800 credits, it's up to you if you feel that that's the value right there. For the daily bundle, we have the sixth gate, which kind of brings back these kind of square shorter pieces, which actually I think kind of look kind of cool with the armor set. It has very much more of a geometric kind of right angles, kind of utilize a lot with the armor set. So I kind of feel like it fits in there pretty well. But yeah, it looks like you'll be sticking with Fiesta for the rest of the week if you want to try to accomplish your 10 right challenges. I just kind of hope that with these uh, fracture events like we'll have for next season as well, which I would just hope they kind of freshen up a little bit. Uh, for me, you know, I completed all my 30 tiers when it comes to this pass, so I don't have to really worry about unlocking anything. And if I really want that attachment piece, I'll kind of grind for it, but it's up to me if I really want to do that. Hopefully with the last week that we have another week of Tenrai coming around after this, that maybe do like a little double XP event or something like that that can help people like progress towards like their battle pass, progress through their Tenrai event, like at the very last second. Cause you know, obviously like I get to have the benefit of grinding everything out early and I get to have earlier access to compared to people who are more casual with their gameplay of Halo. Call of Duty I know does this a lot where like towards like the last couple weeks uh, you get like double XP to finish out a battle pass or double XP to finish out an event kind of thing. Obviously, since battle passes do not go away in Halo Infinite, I don't really expect to see that happen, but it would be kind of nice to kind of just bump up player base and get people kind of like, oh, double XP is happening. Let's jump in and play some games. 
just something different and new to kind of mix it up a little bit, but it looks like it just kind of be another Tenrai Fiesta event to help grind out your challenges and hopefully unlock some new things for your your Royal Armor set. But like I said earlier, guys, in the previous video that I feel like things are going to be pretty low key rip until season two, which I pretty much figured this would be the case with Halo Infinite. Things are going to be pretty low key until season two, which we do have some information coming this week for season two as we have a blog for the season one outcomes, which we're going to probably hear information about planned fixes and changes, buffs and nerfs when it comes to Halo Infinite as a whole. And I will be making a video on that as soon as that blog goes live. We also have the next episode of the Halo TV show, which I have some planned information about some lore tied to the show as well. And of course, my thoughts and opinions on the episode, which this next episode does look to be kind of concerning when it comes to Halo fans. So if you want to catch those videos, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. But if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I can link to all my Halo news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.